today on the Nerd Workbench. We're checking out this 2012 smart car. Been parked here for a few months. Yep, it's dirty. Let's try to turn it on and see how the battery is doing. So grab your tools and stay tuned. First, we need to see if this little guy is alive. So let's see. Nope, it's not going anywhere. Let's see the dash. Nope. No lights turn on, no movement, nothing. All right, let's see what we can do. Now, before using anything like this jump starter, let's see how the battery's health is first before damaging any electronics. Now, on a smart car, battery is on the passenger side, under the carpet. Lift it. Now, remove this foam cover. Now, there's two plastic bolts here, easy to remove, either with a quarter or with the hands if it's loose. Remove the foam. Now we have all our battery system here. Let's take it apart. First is the positive side cover. It has two indentations. Just, just give it a little pull and you're here a pop. Here they are. All right, we're gonna test the negative and the positive side. All right, the battery with the engine off should be on a range of 12.6 volts. If the battery is on 11.9 or less, the battery is dead. Wow, 4.48, that's bad, yep, not worth it. Let's just take it out, start with the bleeder here, got to remove this bleeder, put it aside, then we use the 10 millimeter socket, we're going to use it for the three uh, bolts that we're going to take out, the negative, the positive side, and the ground area. Let's start with the ground area now. The positive side is here in the back. It's a little uncomfortable. If you want to change your socket for a shorter one, you can do that. Now let's take the bolt for the plate that is holding the battery. Don't lose it. Just keep it near. Let's make some space now because we don't want to damage any cable. Now, before taking the plate here, you see this hose here is a drain hose for the AC. Just pop it out. You won't break it. Remove it from the area because it will make it easier for you. Let's put it this side right here. See, now we have space to move. Just lift it a little bit and it will pop out too. There you go. Now always be careful with the cables. There's very uh, little cables here that can easily just, you know, get broken. So be careful. Don't pull anything. Now here is the fun part. Now we are ready to take it out. Just bring up the handle. It's gonna take a little while. It's very uncomfortable. Remember, it's a smart car. It's a very tough space. Put the base of the battery in the corner of the rug right there and slide it to you. And that's it. That's how we remove the battery in a smart car. So it's a goal, it's a good practice to clean where the new part is going. So let's take our time and vacuum this area. All clean and ready. That looks good. Alright, now we have here the new battery replacement. I was very disappointed. Clearly says it should be in the upright position. Clearly, whoever delivered it didn't read and it says fragile handle with care. So let's see and let's hope it's alright. Mm, I don't think this will work. A little bit of overkill. All right, so we have a Bosch AGM battery type 47 H5, 60 amp hours and 600 cold cranking amperage. It has a 
four year warranty. It looks pretty good. Nothing broken, nothing spilling or anything. I bought this one from Rockout the webpage. They really make it easy for you to select the correct one. But you can get your battery from anywhere you want. As long as you know which one is the correct battery for your car. So let's test it. There you go, 12.85. That's a very healthy battery. All right, checks good. We're ready to install. All right, guys, here forward mostly is reverse engineering. Don't pinch the bleeder. So let's just slide the battery. Put the bleeder on. And it's the same process. Always be careful with the little cables. Let's put back the bolt for the plate. I'm gonna place a little bit of dielectric grease. Why I put that? It helps so much with rust and other things that can happen, you know. And really, uh, if you want to check it out, which one I'm using, I'll leave more info and links on the description below. Take good care of your poles and your connections. Let's put the ground bolt, the, ne the negative. You don't have to put too much, just a little bit, round it. Don't tie too much pressure to those bolts, so just be careful. Now don't forget the little holes for the AC, the drain. Try to put it on. If it if it's get if it gets hard for you, just put a little grease around it. That will make it easier for you. Now one thing left to do. Let's turn on. Oh yeah, nice. Now let's check the those coats. Put it like down there. There you go. So check your scanner. Actually, I have a link on the description from this scanner. Very good if you have a Mercedes. Very detailed, very accurate. Check it out. You'll love it. We want to make sure the battery is on the 13, 13 volts to the 14s. If I turn off the car, it goes to 13, 12, 13.18. Now, if I turn on, goes to 12, goes up, and there you go, 14. All right, it is good, looks good. So, this one thing left to do. Let's check it out. Alright guys, he's staying on the 14s. That's a good sign, the, the alternator is working. Now I'm gonna uh, ride it for a few more hours. All right guys, it's nighttime. I drive it for a few hours. Um, turn on the lights, turn the AC, turn the radio. Everything's working good. I don't see the lights getting dim or no rough um, idle. For a moment it stopped and check the voltage and nothing is going down now if you guys want to like go for months or you won't be using the car this kind of car or any car uh, for a long time there's a wise thing to do just disconnect the battery it's gonna get discharged the cold actually uh, affects the battery and there's other methods to actually maintain your battery if you don't want to disconnect it or it's kind of hard for you. Other tools that you can use like that can maintain the battery while you're at home. But that I will leave for another channel that actually gave me good tips and how to not make this mistake again. 
check the description down below and check his channel and i'm sure you won't regret it now we have a working smart card that's how we change a battery on it hit subscribe if you guys want to see any of the tools like the battery the starter go to the link below and check it out it will help a lot hope you guys like this video and see you next time on the nerd workbench